Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, I will be talking about a series of problems called Path Sum, and it is the second type problem of that series of problems. Its index is 113, and it is categorized as medium type problem of the lead code. Okay, so moving further, we have been given the root of a binary tree and an integer target sum, and we have to return all root to leaf paths where each path sum exactly matches with this target sum. Okay, so there are a few of the things that should be noticeable over here is that the path must start from the root and end up to the leaf and all those node values that lies on these paths must have like uh, the total sum exactly matches with the given value that is the target sum. So how we are going to do that and what could be the best solution for this problem I am going to explain all those in detail for now let's head over to the constraints and just understand how we, uh, like what could be the best time complexity and space complexity to do this one you can see that we are going to have a recursive approach where we are going to traverse all those nodes okay so the very quite tricky thing is like node value is going to have in the range minus thousand to thousand that is when we encounter at a certain step that is when you have some certain node and the path sum up to that node is like strictly greater than the target sum then still we can have a we can have some leaf node exactly matching with the target sum later on so we have to check the uh, check out that case also and i am also going to explain all this in detail if you haven't understand now no need to worry about let's move further to understand this problem with the help of examples okay so suppose this is a uh, like a binary tree and we have the target sum as 22 okay so it is obvious that we are going to use a recursion because the like it uh, like it has the code being simplified and it is it is like very much easier to write okay so while doing a recursive step the two things that we need to take care of is that we need to maintain the current sum and also we need to maintain the path okay so what we are going to do is every time we are going to push back like uh, at every step of recursion at every step uh, we are having some node and then we are going to move to the left and then we are going to move to the right okay and when we are at a certain node what we need to check it out if if it is a leaf node like question mark leaf node and if it is true okay so let me write down clearly so if it is leaf node and current sum exactly matches with the target sum push back the path into answer okay how we are going to do that let's understand that okay so we are starting with this root node and we need to uh, find out all those paths which start from root node and end up to the leaf node and the current sum matches with the target sum now we are at this one you can see i have the path as 5 then we traverse back to the left node you can see i have a path as 4 and current sum as 9 then we traverse back to the like not traversing back moving further to the left node and we have the sum as 11 and path as 5 4 to 11 not the total sum we have the current node value as 11 and total sum as 20 and still it is like less than 22 and again we are checking out the left node of the current node you can see i have this as 7 so my total sum is like 27 okay and you can see that uh, we have encountered a leaf node but uh, current sum not matching with the target sum then we are going to discard this path it means that just pop back this 7 and check out the right node now right now Okay, if you are checking it out, just push back the path and find out the current sum. You can see the current sum is exactly matching with the target sum, which is 22. It means that this path is a valid path and include this path into your answer. So 5, 4, 11, 2 must be one of our answers. You can see 5, 4, 11, 2 is our answer. Okay, just uh, like if you, are at, uh, if you are done with this, just pop back this 2. Then we are at the previous step. Then again, you can see that again, we need to pop back. So we are at this step. Okay. So you can see there are no more right child nodes of this node 4. Then we are done with this. Again pop it out. Then we are at this one. Then move to the right of this node. You can see I have to push back 8 as my current path. And again you can see I need to push back uh, left one. So I have this one. So you can see that what is the current sum right now. You can see the current sum is like 13 plus 11 is 24. Like 24 and uh, target sum is 22. Now the thing that I want to explain is uh, that is uh, you can see that current sum is strictly greater than the target sum right 24 is greater than 22 but suppose here exists some other node whose value is like minus 2 okay 
so you can see that 30 like 8 5 plus 13 I don't think it is 24 13 and 11 okay sorry so it is like uh, 8 5 and not 11 it is like 13 so it is like 26 okay so suppose there exists some other node right like a left child node of 13 and the value of this node is like uh, minus uh, 4 let's say so what we are going to do is like uh, when we encounter this node up to this node you can see the paths are like 5 8 and 13 and the current sum is like 26 and it is greater than the target sum it doesn't mean that we have to end our recursive step uh, like uh, right now okay because there might exist some other node which end up to the leaf node and that path sum exactly matches with the target sum because you can see that node value can be negative so you can see that here exists minus 4 so it means that we can have uh, uh, like uh, some more nodes right to the in the subtree of the current node that may exist uh, that have the like path sum starting from the root node and ending up to the leaf node and uh, we have the path sum exactly matching with the target sum there might exist so we need uh, like we need not to stop our recursive step at this position okay so this was the example that i have taken now moving back uh, what we have is uh, we have this as 13 and we cannot have a current sum matching with the target sum just move it out and check it out 4 you can see that yes this is step this is step and this is a valid path you can see the uh, node colored in blue are the valid paths okay so the thing is like you need to do a recursive step with certain conditions that you need to take care for that so let's move further to the coding part where i will explain how we are going to do that efficiently okay so you can see that runtime is 4 ms and faster than 95.99 percentage of cpp submissions so what i have done is like take this one as a vector int answer which is your global variable for storing all those valid paths and if at any time we will be encountering a like a null value from this root we are going to return otherwise include that value into our current sum and also push back the node value into your path note that path dot push back exactly equal to the root value we are pushing back the root values into my current path and if my current sum matches with the target sum and this that is we have the left child being null right child being null so it is a leaf node it is the identification of this leaf node and current sum matching with the target sum and here we are done with it we are going to push back the path ensure dot push back the path because this is a valid path according to the problem statement now just traverse back to the left one and traverse back to the right one note that when we are pushing like uh, passing the current sum it is like holding the value of uh, like the current root node also like current sum plus equal to root value then we are passing it out okay and uh, like we are first moving to the left then moving to the right okay and if we are done with this some called like current node we are going to pop back this current node from the path you can see that when we are at this step 5 4 11 and 7 let's say and when we are done with the subtree of the 7 what we have done is like we are popping back out the 7 and then we are moving back to this one okay so we need to pop back the one of the node and uh, in the main function you can see that what i have done is like a vector int path that is a null path right now not containing any of the node values and traverse back like we are going to have a recursive step starting from the root node and passing the current sum as 0 and finally return the answer this will give you all test cases passed so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video